no matter what I do, I always seem to find my way back here. I seem to come here whenever I get a specific feeling, or just- that specific feeling is sad, by the way. <laughs> I- I don't know, it could- it could be a little- sometimes when I'm sad, I listen to music, but usually it's Minecraft. And I got that feeling tonight, just that, I don't know, something I need to process here? Something I can only do in the face of, you know, block game. I've been questioning what I want to do. I've actually, I was gonna, lately, no, like my whole life, I've, it's never been a matter of like, oh, I, I just don't know what to pick. It's like, there are 10 things I could pick from and I could do any number of them, but maybe not all. Maybe that's too hard. There's more layers to that than that. Sometimes I feel like I could do more if, you know, brain won't so distracted. I'll get to that later though. Try to get up. I'm glad I spawned here because this is relevant. We're going deeper today. I'm going caving. Question is, do I start on this mountain? Or do I start on like the big one there? There's so many good ones. So I've lately been deciding more. Maybe it's just, I feel more rushed. You know, there's some events going on. It's like, okay, things could be in motion if you want them in motion. Do you want them in motion? And it's like, oh, okay. This is just a jungle over there. This is an awesome seed. There's a fox. Okay, I don't see any cool caves on this one. So, well, okay, never mind. I'll shut up. I struggle with holding everything in my head. That's one thing. I'm like, as I'm trying to speak this, I'm like, what was really going on? Which, because it's so prominent, it doesn't feel like I should be forgetting, but I do anyways. I always like to say I have good memory and bad recall. So things will nag and nag at me and I won't be able to remember what they are. I worry I've been too strict in the past. I haven't been flowy enough. I haven't let myself do multiple things. And that's strange, because I'm always doing multiple things. I can't commit to one art. I'm doing drawing, I'm doing pixel art, I'm doing music. I try to combine them all, but also do them separate. I'm really not that good at any of them, all, all that good at them individually. Here's the platform. Wow, that was the perfect amount of wood. I didn't mean to do a, a five by, what is this? A 5x4? I meant to do a 4x4, but it worked out perfectly. I don't know why I come to Minecraft, because I get really distracted while playing Minecraft. <laughs> but this is just my, like, thoughts game. That and Mario Kart, don't ask why. I'm realizing I can use things to motivate each other. I can be like... I tried streaming for the first time in a while the other week. And usually I'm terrified of that, because I just... I don't know, I'm very... I'm easy i mess things up a lot and live things always make me i think of every worst case scenario oh my god what if i leaked my entire address what if i'm like not good with chat and uh actually i'll get back to that but i don't know i started up that time and i really just i had fun it's hard to explain it wasn't perfect i'm not very good at it there weren't many viewers but it was just nice i i that owes as well to the to the viewers that were there and were nice and chatty I enjoyed it a lot, and it made me realize, like, I could just do that. I could just stream, and I, I feel like that would make me happy, for the most part. Actually, no, 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 I couldn't just stream, but what I liked about it was that it kind of forced me to do other things. I've always thought I don't want a very closed-off schedule, where I, like, have to be at certain things at certain times. I don't know, I just feel free the other way, but I think it, it's good for me when it's like that. What I'm, what I'm basically saying is, I don't like a 9 to 5, like, you know, is repeated so commonly. But there is something nice about, I set the stream time, I set it a day ahead of time, I then had to commit to that. And that was nice, because then that morning I had to rush around getting stuff ready, I was like, it forced me to, to just do things, and then I did the stream, and I felt like I was making something, even though it was kind of low effort. And all of that was very, very nice. Furnace. I'm just kind of preemptively making that. I don't have anything to do with it. Do I have food? I could really use some food. I didn't think about that. I can eat drab kelp if I just go punch the kelp. I'll go down for a second. I want to go caving, but not, you know, it doesn't have to be too quick. So I enjoyed that. I like the fact that it forced me to do other things. Yeah, that was, I think that was the main thing. I felt like I could balance it in that moment. Like, hey, I can do my things before stream. The stream can motivate me. I can do the stream. It felt like I was actually being a content creator for once. Which I guess is my dream. <laughs> Ever since that day, I, I've kind of been missing it. I was like, wow, it was so, like, well-formated that day. Felt so good. I know, it really it really wasn't that, like, big of a step or a deal, but, I don't know, I guess I just take things like that. 
Ever since I'm like, well, how do I fit that in my life? How do I start balancing more? Which, you know, that was kind of always what I didn't want to do. It's like, hey, I want to just focus in on something. I want to remove, like, responsibilities and such. But I thought about it differently then. I'm like, well, how do I start balancing stuff? And that's been cool, but also it is... Oh, wow, look at all this. It also... I, I just don't have the answer, frankly. Want the gold black... Can I mine that? Oh. I'm going to block it with pumpkins. Come on, fall the right way. Do it, I believe in you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, that's not good. No, come back. Come back. Come back. There you go. Okay. Get up, get up, Steve. Get up, Steve. This would be such a funny way to fish. Like, with an axe diving into a river. So what's been troubling me? I think maybe my default state has been troubling me, which is not very focused and not utilizing my time very well. And the fact that sometimes I can use one thing I want to do to motivate another thing. That might be... I, I think... I really need to get tested for ADHD. I have a, a lifelong friend who has it, and we keep comparing notes. I mean, we've been comparing notes all our life, like, wow, we're really similar. And then we'll compare notes about distractibility, and it's like, oh, hmm. <laughs> I think there's some family history too, but no one's ever gotten diagnosed, so I can't say that with confidence. I'll go grab some kelp. I feel like it'd be funny to make those, like, really big blocks of it. So I, I think that's one, I, I shouldn't, a feeling can come down to multiple things, and I think I give feelings too much weight sometimes. I'm like, oh, I'm in a bad mood. There's, I need to fix it immediately. I need to pull myself up by my bootstrap. I still I rub that in. I'm like, oh, I need to just get to work, and then I'll feel good. It's like, no, not exactly. You can just have an expectation and be like, ah, oh, I really liked how that one day went. I want all the days to go like that, but you don't take the proper steps, and then you're like me. Anyways... I think the point of it all was, I don't, it was a sort of revelation, that moment where I was just kind of did multiple things. It was like, I could balance all this out. I could have fun. I don't know if there's money in it, but maybe I could enjoy the day to day. <laughs> and that's what I want to focus on for now in my life. Now, I'm going to try to make it up the mountain. I'm going to eat all my fish by the time I get there. Man. Yeah, doing two things at once is something I want to get better at because I naturally do it all the time. So might as well be oh no 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 please 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 oh man I'm gonna make a right cut. Keep losing my train of thought. I really should just do it and not play Minecraft. Talk about this! God dang it! Alright, I'll find my way back. Oh my kelp. There was an entrance right here. Eh, kinda. Anyways, I think the most recent batch of like, oh, feelings comes from realizing maybe it is not that simple. Maybe I still have yet more work to do and more things to balance. I said earlier, like I wasn't the best at reading chat. I wasn't. I ignored someone accidentally. I just super distracted, ignored several of their messages in a row by accident. And then they brought it up. They're like, hey, I, I don't think you meant to do this. I hope you didn't mean to do this, but here's the deets. And I was like, oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that at all. I'm so sorry. But it is like, I don't know, it's another layer. It was like, wow, that was such a good time. And it's like, no, you you still have work to do. And that's good. I like working. But also, it's like, but also what? Why do I still, maybe my ego is too big. I don't really think I had a big ego, but maybe it is. Not, not again, not, not, not again, not again, not again. It was by the spruce, there was a spruce sapling, where was I? The one I dug out of was, where was that? <gasps> there we go! Look at that! Oh, okay, so it sort of leads you, I think. Did I just melt it? Melt! No! <laughs> it's too powdery! What does that make me... I gotta come back to that. Maybe I just need to take them and it be like, yeah, okay. You hear it, someone move on. I think what I was thinking about is like the difference between online and in-person relationships. And when I was a kid, and very dumb and young, I was like, oh, I think uh, online relationships are easier because you just get a bit of distance. You can think about how to format your words. And then as I grew older, I was like, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> it's like, there are so many ways to mess it up. And it's also like, we need in-person relationships. If you ever think like, maybe I could just live on the internet. Nah, in-person relationships are cool. Go seek them out. That's not a step-by-step -step guide or anything of how to actually do that. How to make it good, how to not, uh, uh, millions of ways it can go wrong, but 
If I can just give you that little push, like, no, it is worth it. And hopefully that's, I don't know, something good. Anyways, in-person's relationships are good. But also, maybe, and I'm gonna reverse it again, maybe, um, online relationships are easier. I was thinking about, like, that whole interaction, like, someone brought it up to me, I ignored them. I didn't mean to. It was very easy in the digital space to do that. But, at the same time, it got brought up. And maybe that's a, a sentiment of, like, the strength of the other person. But also, I'm really bad about bringing things up in real life. I was thinking about it. I was just like, ah, yeah, that's just what happens. And I'm like, no, some people don't do that. Some people are very good, like, direct, like, hey, stop. And I'm not. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh, it's not exactly black and white. I find it a lot harder to confront people in person. I also find my emotions get more out of control. I can't pace it. And part of that is probably the consequence of living so much time on the internet. Yeah, that's the main reason you should... <laughs> don't get stuck, don't get used to the internet. That's why you should go hang out with people. Not because it's just genuinely awesome. I think that's the crux of it. Those are the two things. But, oh my god. Hold on, actually this could be good. Go, go get it. Go get it. No, no. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. I was hoping it would uncover that. I've been thinking about as well what cements things in my mind. So I'm maybe not... Again, memory maybe good. Recall really bad. What does that leave me with? How do I focus in on things when I want to? How much of my shortcomings when it comes to balancing stuff and, I don't know, not missing messages are part of neurochemical... Wow. Just go deep. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. It's taking too long. I want the kelp now. It's fine. I'll, I'll, there. Perfect. It's, it's all good. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> something, something. What makes things stick? I'm a very visual person. I think. I don't want to, I don't, I hesitate to call myself anything anymore. Because it either changes or I don't really know or it's not all the time. But I'm a visual person, and so that helps a lot. I have been journaling, so like writing words that I can see, um, and that helps. But I think also saying it is really helpful. Like, it also, duh. That's what everyone tells you. That's why therapy's good. But, yeah, no, that's probably why I'm here. I'm like, I'm gonna say it out loud. In a way, I think telling people, having a conversation, like, revealing things, or talking about it in a conversation, where people can also give you feedback. That's really good. This is a lesser version of that. I still like it. I've been thinking as well about what gets kept. So I write stuff down, so I make these little audio logs, audio video logs. Where does it go? Is there a point? I, 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 I make a lot of stuff. Or maybe not make a lot of stuff. I have a lot of thoughts. And I make a lot of... I do make a lot of things. I write a lot. Uh, on the days, on my best days, we'll say, quote-unquote, I, I make a lot of things. How do I make a, a big old kelp pack? Kelp. Can I eat this? I can't eat this, right? Let me see. How much does it give me? No, it's just for carrying sake. Never mind. How much does this give me? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. We'll just eat seaweed the whole time in the caves. It's good. Yeah, I worry about... I like to capture things, definitely. I want them to stick around if I like them, even if it's just a fleeting, like, oh, that's kind of cool. I think pictures are great, but I often don't take pictures. I'm like, oh, I need to preserve it in a, in a bigger way. Or I'm, like, I don't know, I find cool spaces. did a Minecraft video recently, not this. And I went, I had to go through a lot of cool worlds for it and see cool sites. I wanted to capture it all. I have, like, eight worlds from it that I opened due to poor planning. Um... <laughs> And they're just all there, and I, I kept them all rather than deleting them. Deleting them would free up space on my hard drive and in my mind. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Why? Uh, both of these as backups. No, I'll put these as backups in here. Yeah, it should be good. All right, let's go caving. I always, yeah, want to capture things to the fullest degree or make sure I could go back to something. I'm like that with just opportunities as well. Game on sale, buy it. Cool t-shirt time, what if I never see it again? I'm very good at pacing it, or realizing that maybe there's just too much to keep around. I do like cleaning though, so sometimes it's okay that I keep everything, because then I just can go and rehome it later once my feelings have settled. Look at that, that looks cool. Nope, never mind, the rendering ruins it, but it, it sort of looks cool. I should be placing torches and ladders. I always like ladders. 
want to treat Minecraft more as like a, a permanent residence. Rather than going caving, like you, you plan out routes, you put ladders down. That comes back to that keeping it thing. Just make me wonder, like, I've done a couple of these Minecraft things now. Where I just kind of talk and work through some stuff and build or do something. Some of them turned into videos. Some of them have not seen the light of day and probably never will. Should I make a goal out of this? That way I have a, like a catchy tagline. Get to the bottom, get to bedrock. Sometimes I get upset with YouTube and how commodified it's gotten, how much like you want, I don't know, you could just feel it. If you go to every thumbnail, it's like there is a something being sold here. Maybe I'm tired of buying or maybe I'm not. Maybe I like the consumerism. Maybe I like buying stuff, buying stuff is cool. But also when is it too much? When are you keeping around too much? When are you watching too much and not using it? I love challenge videos and stuff, but also they, they have that exact problem of feeling like I almost don't trust them. It's like, well, you're kind of selling me here on the premise. You're just inventing a reason to do something. Except that's all we do as humans. <laughs> We're always just inventing reasons to do stuff. Why well, go to work? I don't know. Because you can buy this cool thing I made. It's like, okay, it's cool. As long as you enjoy the reasons. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, that stream was refreshing to me because it was very, it was so bad and laid back. <laughs> it was not very good. Um, but it, it reminded me that YouTube can just be you. And that's basically it. I mean, it feels weird to just, what we're doing, what I'm doing, playing a video game and I'm like, you should just sit down and watch it rather than doing anything else. And it's like, but you know, I don't know that inherently I want to be like, oh, it's wrong. That's bad. But also that's just what I used to do. It wasn't always my turn on the Wii. So I'd watch someone else play and it was great. Didn't matter. So I'm glad that stream renewed me. I'm still like, how do I, how do I keep that? Very bad at being myself. Or maybe I'm too good. Maybe I'll never fix quote unquote some things. That distractibility and that poor time management and that needing to weaponize myself and other things in order to get anything done. Some of that I would change if you gave me like the, the button, the fix it button. Other stuff, and I don't know if I'm just saying it out of like feeling like I have to, like, yeah, I should... I should say, no, I don't want to change this. Or if it is something I really want to keep about myself. But I feel both. I'm getting into scary territory. Shh. Be quiet. I don't, it doesn't even go any further, does it? Yep. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you want to change you? I'm sort of mixed. It changes by the day, which is probably exactly how it should be. Yeah, no, sometimes I do get frustrated with myself. Just entirely. Usually it's just me reasons. Like, I know I just brought up an example. I was like, oh, I failed someone else. Mostly it's just, yeah, things I do. I don't know why I feel the need to make that distinction. I think if I was given the chance, I would be everybody. <laughs> like, if I could be everyone for a day and, you know, it doesn't, um, you know, obviously I can live that long. That's one billion people. I don't know. It would be cool to I feel like a cool story premise would be to live the same day. So it's, I don't know, March 3rd. 2025 and just you live the same day as a whole every person that would be cool i would do that just to see what the perspective is like i would do a lot of things i feel like I, would i lose myself in that if i like do all those things feel those feelings when i come back do i come back from that that's why i often feel like when i say i you know i'm okay being myself it's mostly out of fear it's just like i don't know what the alternative would be man i do like getting existential <laughs> I like having deep thoughts. I like having them um, while walking and moving and doing this. I don't know, I, they have personality tests and it's like, I don't know, one of them will always be like, oh, do you enjoy deep topics? And I'm like, do some people not? And like, I will never go deep. I will never think about something a little more. It's like, really? You won't? Why? It can be fun though. Oh, I thought that was diamonds. I was like, blue. It's blue, it must be mine. How's the name Eagle Blue? Has anyone written like a song called Hatsune Miku Blues? Sorry, that's a very specific and me question, but you know. Please no, please no. Oh god, dang it. It's not expecting this gonna be honest. These are super scary. I don't think I've ever played with these on 
uh, not on, yeah, in survival mode. Stop! Let me be! There's no even ward in here. Where is there? Let me get one. God dang it. I just wanted to go down, man. Sorry for this brief intermission. I'm fighting for my life right now. Yeah, this happens as well. Feelings just dissipate, and I don't like that, even though it is good. Yeah, if something like this happens, it's suddenly like, well, I'm gonna focus on this now. And a lot happens in life, so it's hard to sometimes capture things. To be like, I am feeling this way, and I want to do something about it. That's that thing I said about it earlier, about like wanting to focus in. Even though it's better to kind of like weaponize different passions and different things. Uh, how deep am I? Uh, sort of deep. If I could get back down there, it wouldn't be too bad. I forgot I had these. Hold on. I want to lead them to the lava. I feel like that's not the best idea, but you know. It's probably really not a good place to explore, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, why do I do this, actually? Why, why do I make it harder on myself? Why can't I do easier things first? Find a better way down the mountain. I could try. This feels exciting, though. Does my YouTuber brain get to me? I'm like, oh, I gotta make the bit. Gotta do it the hard way. I gotta be, do the challenge, the catchy thumbnail. What do I wish I was better at? If I'm not happy here, what do I wish? Do I wish I could always nail social interactions? Like, if that was a superpower, just, like, get that one. Like, okay, I don't need to worry about it. Or at least, maybe do, not, do nothing wrong in a social interaction. Like, I'll never make a mistake. It can still be hard to navigate, because I feel like... Some of that is what makes them rewarding, navigating together something. But maybe, uh, no failure? I still think that's dumb. And I can recognize that that's dumb, and it's like, well then why do you think you should be able to do it? There's a lot of creepers. Die. I'm gonna summon the warden on you. Oh, that works. Ah. Face me, cowards. Why did he go up? There you go, there's one. Where's the other guy? Easiest way? Just let them explode. There you go. Alright. This is not a good spot to be in, but it does go deeper. And thus I must follow. Oh my god. Okay. How do I get the water? Hold it. Speed run. <laughs> Lost progress is another thing that has plagued me in my years. I don't know what to do with that. Especially not feeling like you're making progress as well. Like, the, duh. But still, I'll say it. I'll say it. It sucks. I've been drawing. I've been trying to draw more recently. God, I have such a gap. Like, the thing is, I can make cool things and usually not know how I did it, but you know, I can make them. So when I'm trying to do something that feels simple and like I actually have an idea in my head for, it's weird. It feels so hard. Maybe that's the key though, I need to let loose. If I don't know the fundamentals, I just need to feel it out until I know. Then I can be more direct. It's still cool though, I like it. But it feels like time's passing. Uh, definitely in this in this day and age, it feels like, oh my god, I feel like constantly in danger of just running out of time. It's like the worst feeling. Death is easy. Death is after it's over. Running out of time is just that impending feeling. I don't remember where I was, by the way, so this is going to be interesting. I guess I could just follow the torches, but... Yeah, here we go. Okay. There was a spot I was going to go to. What I was going to say is... Hold on. I actually should go up for this. I should get some material to build a waterway with. So if I go like that, does that work? Keep going. Keep going, water. Traverse onwards, yes! All right, here we go. Slowly, carefully. Easy does it now. I just pushed all my items away from me, I just realized. I keep forgetting what I was talking about, and it makes me frustrated. It's like, I should finish that thought. Maybe I don't need to, but it matters for some cases. I need to have complete thoughts sometimes. Maybe that's what meds are for. I don't want to sport corporate America's, I don't know, America's whole fixation on drugs and drug solving everything now. I have this idea, and I know many people do, of like, if I could just not sleep, I would get so much done. And I'm like, you know, that's so untrue. Because <laughs> if I have a day off, or if I do like not sleep or whatever, if I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stay up, I haven't done enough today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay up and do more. It's like, it doesn't work. I don't get more done. You need the pressure of going to bed. I like the pressure. I like sleeping too. I don't know why I ever think like, oh, you stayed up the whole night. 
and clear my backlog of all the things I need to do. It's like, no, you would not. Be reasonable. It's so hard to be reasonable. It's another thing about, I don't know, emotions and stuff. It's like, they don't always go somewhere. Sometimes you feel something for a night, you write it down, and then it's okay to just be like, okay, no more of that for a little bit. I'm always like, okay, so this negative emotion I'm feeling, it must be solved. I simply must carve it in half. So I play Minecraft, because then I'm like, I'm doing something. It's like, no, just w keep moving. Keep working on the things you want to. Not that I don't want to play Minecraft. <laughs> maybe it's just a good excuse, and maybe that's that's okay. I might just have to start going down. But like, I know, that's so boring. <laughs> yeah, what is my mark on the internet? What am I hoping to do with this? Because I remember... Um... I don't know, whenever, in the past, I always justified it as like, I'm gonna talk about feeling bad, and it's gonna be four people. That way, when they feel bad, I can give them advice. I think it's sort of changed, or I realized that that wasn't the goal. It's like, it's just for me to talk and yap. Oh god, am I gonna be able to find my way back to that freaking chest? It's fine. <gasps> Diamonds! There, it will never not be fun to see that that blue tint, that Hatsunami blue blue. Yeah, I want to do good, and I want to leave a mark. I'm realizing that influencer is such a negative word, and rightfully so, frankly. But I want to... I don't, that sounds so weird. I want to have an influence on people. But I think I do. I think I want to try and help. Spread messages. I think I have something to give. It's not very well refined. I feel like it takes me music and art and, like, really putting it all together and thinking about it, but also just feeling it to actually make it, like, really good. But I can do it. Ooh, is this a... Is this just nothing? Have I been tricked? I thought this was a gemstone. I was so happy I was going to carve through gemstone. I guess it's just veins of this now. Gross. Remember when that update was coming out? I was like, what? Nemesis was almost, like, too real or something. Now I'm like, that's so cool, geodes. Gonna find the bottom of the world. I would like to explore everything. That's just a blanket statement and pretty much everything, top to bottom. I don't have the time for it, though. You can get close, though. I think talking with people is good enough sometimes. You let them explain something to you, and it's like, wow, so cool. It's a cool thing, and I get to talk about it with a cool person. It's a two-for-one. Yeah, bundle your stuff. Use things to help each other. You need to remember that. You don't have to do it alone. Oh, yeah, what was I saying? It's okay. I think it's okay that I... This is more, I originally was like, I want to try and provide advice when I did this series and really have that be the focus. And then I realized, okay, so it's further down. Great. Okay. Like, it's okay to take time to just talk. I should probably, I don't know, do it with people more often. I'm not very good at that, but it's okay to just talk. And I realized that because, is it negative 64 that I need to get? I'll find a way. Breakthrough. Yeah, there's, it's further down. What was I saying? Oh my god. <laughs> Not again. It's okay that I, this is mostly just me yapping. Like, I am trying to give advice and stuff, but it's mostly me just telling stories or thoughts. That's okay, because I realize that that's what I look for when I'm sad. <laughs> I look for personal experiences. I want to be like, okay, how did you do it? How are you figuring this whole life thing out? I really like hearing those. So even if it's not, I don't know what the world limit is. I'm gonna go Google it real quick. It is, okay, so the limit is 64, but you know, that's one block down. So I did actually make it. This is the lowest, I made it to the bottom of the world. I do, I wanna be the savior of the sorrows, but maybe I'm not strong enough. A, first of all, I don't need to be. It's B, whatever. Sharing personal experiences is still good. That's probably, most people need to find their own way anyways. It's not like you could just, give them the magical combination as much as you might want to. I'm gonna try to climb back up to the highest point as well. I don't know. Am I not strong enough? I often think like I could never be a therapist because I'd get too personally involved with like people's problems. Like I, I just I just want to fix it for them. Like I've been saying, I just want to like reach into them and be like, I will fix it for you. Someone's not being nice. You're in an abusive relationship. I'll go tackle them. Tell them what they're doing wrong. Oh, God. I'm not sure. First of all, no, that's not the point of therapy or how you should do it. Second of all, I'm not sure I could do that. I'm not sure I'm strong enough. I feel like I often want to be there all the time for people. And then when I try, I'm like, 
I realize, oh no. First of all, you need to be there for yourself, so you can't always be there for someone. You gotta take time for you. Well, not even take time, that's, I don't know, what am I trying to say? It's not even, oh, this is, I, I thought this was gonna be my campsite, it's not though. I'm not sure I'm strong enough, as in like, yeah, you need to take time for yourself, but even then, they're probably, they're people better at it. Not because I'm worse, but because there's something in me that doesn't actually want that, I think. I can't j oh, sheep. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I got this. I got this, let's go. I gotta have a bed. Please, Mr. Sheep, please, Mr. Sheep, give me your one. Yes, okay. I need more of this. I don't have any more of this. Okay. I still have this rotten flesh in my inventory. I don't know why I have that. I'm in a tree right now. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I could be a therapist. Because I'd either want to get too involved or I'd like get frustrated with my job. Because I think I need to take time for stuff like this. And for creative projects, there's a part of me that does like the internet type relationship. Where it's just very, like, not in real time. I can just be offline and online at the same time for a minute. Yeah, I can just be by myself, creating things on the internet, for the internet, where you can just... I like the fact that you can put something out there, and people don't have to watch it. Like, if you want to sit someone down and be like, I want, I, I need to talk with you about this thing. Wait, but that's nice! Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting my thoughts mixed up. It's nice that I can make this, and you can click off. Because I guess maybe it's not for you, it's for me. And I still want to share it. I don't, know, I don't know what that feeling is. I don't like sharing things that don't feel like they're going to benefit the other person. This could benefit you. But, not necessarily. And maybe that's why I like it. Maybe yada yada, you can click off if it, it's not helping. Maybe I like the impersonal this the like, floating, speeding past on these internet cables idea. Where it just kind of like pops into your YouTube feed one day. You watch it, you go, huh, whoa. And then you go on. But that's, I can't, I, I stuttered because I was like, no, even, even if it's not perfect for the other person, you still need to tell people things. Even if they're not depressed, you have to share some of your thoughts with them. Be like, hey, I'm feeling well. And they'll meet you there. I forget that as well. You don't have to always feel something in the moment. You can sort of find your way there. Not everything has to be perfect. You can just make it better. It's a cool mountain. It's like mixing with the savannah. I was never much of a mountain climber, as you can see very clearly here, but I'm going to give her an old shot. I did. I picked this mountain rather than the one I was on because it's, I think it's bigger. It's okay to sit with things that aren't fully for you and to tell things that aren't fully for someone else. God, it is, it all is just complex and you can totally feel it out, even if you're a person who struggles to feel it out more than most. And it's so worth it too. I think the original reason I started YouTube was because I want- Whoa! This is cool. I think the original reason I started this was because I, I love those type of connections. I love just seeing people do a thing on YouTube. The reason I got into it was because some friend of my brother's was just playing Minecraft on YouTube. They were inspired by a bigger person, but that was my inspiration. Someone. I'm gonna say it was not doing it very well, you know, but it was so cool to me. I like seeing people on the internet. Maybe I think I, I relied on it too much. I was like, I want to make friends on the internet because I'm like, oh, I feel like those will be the like-minded people, the ones who are I don't know, also making content. It's like, why limit yourself? Why wait? There's cool people everywhere. You doofus. So it's all learning. Maybe that's- maybe what I'm scared of is not the fact that there's constantly something new to balance. It's that I'm gonna forget it. I'm not gonna be able to capture it. It'll pass me by, I'll, I'll miss messages that I get. Maybe that's what I'm afraid of more than the actual content itself. And that's why you need to do this. You need to sit down, take a Minecraft world for a second, come up with some dumb idea to do. That's why I do like challenge videos and the constant stream of content. Across YouTube, you get to see arrows. It's little footholds. It's bad, but it's good. Let me. How do I wanna? I wanna climb to this peak via ladders. I feel like that's cool. Yeah. Bam. You just put it on snow. That's kind of funny to think about. Wow. That's pretty cool. Is there an even taller mountain over there? Oh my god, this seat is great. What I mean is like, I should start a series here. I should start 
do something more with it. The other part of me is like, no, it's okay. You did this, you can let go. I'm nowhere near the build limit! I don't think anyways, right? What? Alright, let's try. Alright, we're gonna do it the non-ladder way. We're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Back in my day, we used to build bridges like this. There were no speed bridges, no speed tap. Do any mountains actually scrape the sky? In Minecraft? I don't know if they made them tall enough. There's just a hole in there, that's funny. Thank you for listening today. I feel... I feel like maybe I'm getting better at these. I often make them and I'm not very good. I don't tie up loose ends. It's hard because it's life stuff, so there are no loose ends. It's like, keep going. It's like, really? Can I just have a break? But, um... I don't know, this one felt better. Wow. I genuinely, I feel like the, the weight on my chest. The less oxygen. Sorry, that's, that's not... <laughs> that's a bit different. I'm using whatever I got. One. Two. Furnace. Here we go, real quick. Put that down. Go like this. Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> like that. I'm gonna like... How do I do that? There you go, okay. Jesus, dude. Okay, hold on, real quick. My PC's gonna hate this. What did I have it at? 28? Okay, so it's not gonna be that much more, but let's do this. Wow. With this distance... I don't know, that's so cool. That's not... That, that looked like an ocean before. It's just a lake. It's also much smaller than it seems. God dang. I was hesitant about caves and cliffs at first, I gotta say. I was like, they're making it too realistic. I kind of like the non-sequitur nature of Minecraft. And the caves are big, and the mountains are huge. It almost feels too big sometimes. But it is... I don't know. No, it's... They were so right. It's so cool. Wow. Look at it, man. Travel. That's something I want to do. I always thought, like, I don't really need to travel. Like, I don't feel like it's going to benefit me as it does some people. Because they explore so much online. And again, it was like, oh, it's an online thing. I was like, I want to I wanna work on stuff first. I was the opposite. I don't believe in the whole, like, oh, you, you, you know, work till you're 65, then retire and do all the things you want to do. I don't believe in that mentality, but somehow I did believe in that mentality. Because like, I'll work now, I'll make sure I'm safe, and then I'll go travel. It's like, no, you need just that different perspective. Looking at life from up here. I should go do that. I want to visit places. I want to meet people and talk to them about how they feel about the place they are. Or the place I am. I don't want to lose the internet, though. As much as I have spent time there, and as much as probably could have not spent time there. <laughs> There's things I love it here, about here, and I'll always love it, I think. It's so hard. I want to just stick to one or the other, but it's balance. That's the key. All right. I genuinely do need to get sleep in real life. <laughs> oh. I do want to just sit up here, though, and watch this for hours. This view. I feel better. I'm glad. It wasn't that bad in the first play. It just felt like the, I, I should capitalize on it. No, not capitalize. Sorry. I should explore this. That was what the feeling was. It wasn't so dire. It was just like, I should do something with this. And I'm glad I did. All right. I'm going to fall asleep. And I, I don't know what's going to happen, though. Like, is he going to spawn me off to the side or on top of the bed? Okay, I am here. I'm tempted to jump off. But also, I'm like, I kind of want to leave this world in this state. Where I was. Are you kidding me though? I'm so doing it. Yeah! Woo! Wait, don't hit the water. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. You can have your cake and eat it too.